Day 47 of the suffering. It is four o'clock, we are back in the gym. It is arm night. This morning we trained chest. So if you guys wanna see the chest video, it's already out, you can go check it out. And we are in here training my arch nemesis arms. For whatever reason, my arms don't like to grow. They don't want to grow. They refuse to grow. They hate growing. And there's some guys out there, man. I don't get it. My belly fat won't go away. My arms won't grow. The two things every guy wants, abs and big arms. And you have those, you have those guys out there and these massive arms. It's like, what'd you do? It's like, I did like two sets once every 17 days. I got these 21 inch arms. What? What? How? I don't know. You know, you're overtraining, bro. Two sets every 17 days, man. I once looked, this is a true story. I once looked at a dumbbell and I gained four inches. Like, really? Yeah, 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 man. It just happens. It just happens. It's like, just be like that sometimes. And here I am over here trying to crack the code with my ear to the safe. Like, what is it? What is it? What is it? Where's that? Where's the combination? Where's the combination? Tell me your secrets, and I just can't figure it out. It's okay, because I have something on my side now that a lot of people don't have. I have bro science. That's right. I got all the forgotten information from the 70s, so I have it. I have it. So I'm going to apply it. But shh, don't tell anybody. See, I don't train until it burns, right? I like to train until it goes numb. That's my new thing. Train until it goes numb. If you can still feel it when you're done with your set, ah, ah, you didn't do enough. Like when you go running and you're like, my legs are numb. You're not worried about like, oh no, they're not getting bigger because they're numb. You're just like, yeah, that was a good run. Oh, my heart's beating fast. My legs are burning. My veins are pumping battery acid. And it feels good. Ah, ah, ah. I know, I know the form is so beautiful, man. I know you guys are loving it. Uh, that's just burning out with some partials. Come on, come on, oh, come on. Pause on this one. I'm gonna rest eight breaths. What are you even getting out of that? You're whipping it so much. You're not even hitting the triceps. Well, they burn and they're going down. Trust me, they're getting plenty of indirect work. So are my hips and my back. Cut this down. Whew. 
Good enough. Got biceps next. So when I was in my early 20s, there was this personal trainer that I was talking to, and I was like 21, 22, and I was talking to him about belly fat and getting abs. Uh, and I asked him about it. He goes, "Well, honestly, he's like, I, he's, he was a competitive uh, bodybuilder in his late 40s, and he had a tons of clients that also competed in figure, bikini, uh, classic physique, bodybuilding. Well, classic really wasn't a thing back then, but." bodybuilding and then uh, men's figure, whatever it was. But anyways, so uh, he told me, he was like, well, here's the thing, man. It's different per individual. There's gonna be some bro science right here. He's like, it's different every individual. He's like, some, some of my clients, I never have to tr have them train at their abs at all. And when their body fat comes down from their cardio, they have perfectly round, bubbled, beautiful abs, never do a single crunch or abdominal work. He's like, then I have other clients that like, if we don't have them do like 250 to 500 sit-ups, 250 to 500 crunches a day, well, leg raises, so 500 sit-ups, 500 leg raises a day, every day for their whole entire prep, they just won't develop abs, they just won't get them. He's like, I don't know why that is, but some clients, he goes, just the body fat percentage coming down and indirect work does it. And other clients, he's like, man, you, you gotta cardio the abs. So instead of having them on the Stairmaster or the elliptical or the treadmill or doing cardio for an hour, hour and a half a day, I have them train their abs and that's how they pretty much do their cardio. And then you could think about it like, well, a deficit's a deficit, whether you're doing abs or you're doing cardio, you, uh, you increase the deficit and then that consumes calories, which brings the total body fat percentage down or whatever. But that's the thing, like, grab the camera. Look, th th come, come around over here. So look, here's the deal, Get, like show my quad, come so, so they can see it. Okay, I, I don't, can, can, is that picking up the striations? Can you see that? Yeah. Right, okay, I have striations in my quads, All right? I have feathering, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I'll have some feathering here. And then even my glutes have separation, okay? Now, my, my legs are incredibly, incredibly lean. My calves too, incredibly lean. And I do no ab work at all really, to be honest, but I'll spending 30 minutes a day, twice a day on the Stairmaster. And my thighs look amazing. Feathering, striations, separation, if I got in better lighting and had them pump, veins shooting all over the place. But I still have all of this. I still have all of this, right? My arms, uh, when I just got done doing my triceps, I had veins shooting all through the bottoms of my triceps, my biceps. I'm flat right now, I'm not getting a whole lot of, so I'm not getting any sodium in my diet or, or any like a massive amount of carbs. So I am really, really flat right now. I've been doing this diet for 47 days. So I'm looking really flat, but still you see the legs and look at the stomach. How many guys have you seen with a six pack but have legs like my stomach where they have a nice little layer of fat over their thigh and there's no separation, no definition, no, no striations, nothing, nothing on their legs, but they have a six pack, right? But those are the guys that never train their legs but they do a lot of ab work. And here I am not doing any ab work, but I train my legs because old habits were being a powerlifter. For many, many years, I did a lot of heavy, hard work on my legs because powerlifting. And my legs look great, and my stomach looks like caca. So it's like bro science, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lean towards 
that trainer's advice that told me this many years ago, 20 years ago, and uh, start training my abs every day for the next five weeks and just see what happens. I'm gonna back off the cardio and I'm just gonna train my abs. Instead of doing 30 minutes on Stairmaster, I'm gonna do 30 minutes on my abs every single night. And I'm just gonna see what happens. It's not like my stomach's gonna get any fatter. And if it gets overtrained, well, that just means my stomach's gonna get smaller. So either way, it's a win. Because people are like, well, if you overtrain your arms, they're gonna get smaller. Well, if I try overtrain my abs, will my waist get smaller? By that logic? So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a whole lot of bro science about it. I'm just gonna do some straight sets. Just, a, just one straight set all the way through, nothing crazy. Just as many reps as I can get. pushing it past the burn into the numb. Let's go into the numb. If anybody does this movement, this is one of those slow and controlled. I wouldn't whip this or jerk this up or try to like swing this around. Because with that super deep stretch in the bottom of this movement, put your bicep in a very weak, vulnerable position, especially the tendon that connects to the bone. And that's how a lot of people end up snapping their tendons as they extend the stretch too far, like on preacher curl. So many people tear their biceps off on preacher curl benches because they go way too heavy on that movement. And they're in this deep, deep, deep stretch. And they try to lift way too heavy. And they try to snap the weight up at the bottom. If you can't do a controlled pull out the bottom, and you're going too heavy. That's it for this one. I do not go heavy on this at all. I don't push this one whatsoever and I'm not gonna try to pretend like I'm gonna be some he-man on it because I know my limits and that right there, I've seen too many people on that preacher curl bench pop a tendon. It's awful looking and I can imagine how it feels because I tore my pec in a competition. Okay, last bicep movement of the night. Oh, and just so everybody knows, if anyone's curious, I do four warm up sets from 15 down to whatever. So it's like 20, 15 to 20, 15 to 20, 10 to 15, and then my top set, and that might be a drop set, a superset, a rest pause, uh, negatives, forced reps, whatever I feel like doing, okay? So that's, that's what, uh, cheat reps, whatever I feel like doing. So that's typically what I do, but I'm only doing four sets of this because my biceps are fried. So I don't think I'll be able to get much more than this right here, so. There's gonna be a lot of body English on this too. This one's gonna be a big cheat rep set. This is not gonna be like a, a strict form, kind of like, you know, anything. Just This is just gonna be, just move the weight and we're gonna do some drops on this after the cheats.
If y'all are wondering, these are wood clamps from Home Depot or Lowe's uh, used for the collars because they're quick on, quick off. Now that the bicep is completely fried and it's going numb on me, now let's use a full range of motion here. Because it doesn't know if it's 100 pounds or 10 pounds. It only understands stress. That's it. So burn it down with the heavier weights with some crappy form and then slow it down. Full range of motion with a lighter load. And that's going to be it for biceps and triceps. I'm going to do some abs after this. I'm going to do some posing first. And I'm going to do some abs. All right, Friday night posing. Let's see if there's any difference from last week to this week. Let's start with the thigh. Got some feathering and striations there. It looks beautiful. Got some separation. This one doesn't show that good because the lighting on this side of the thigh, but it's still there. But you can see the feathering, the striations there. Okay, now for the joke. Let's do some thighs and abs. What abs? Yeah, I know. I'm keep asking myself that too. Oh, that's looking better. Let's go to the front. Lat spread. My waistline's coming in. So the lats are looking wider. The chest is looking more full. Shoulders are looking a little bit more capped. Uh, lats look weak here. They need to be more full and wider, that's for sure. Arms are always a weak point, but at least I got a good pump on them tonight so they don't look so pitiful. But man, those lats just disappear when I go overhead. Oh, my shoulders are on fire right now from working out this morning. They're cramping up on me. Give me a second. Like I said, my lats just disappear on this one. They just go completely away because I have such a long torso. Whew. Get that most muscular crap. Arms are looking a lot better here. Shoulders are looking a lot more full and round. Chest is coming along. Not too bad. Okay. Rear lat spread. Can't see any of this. So I'm just going to have to hope it, I'm getting the pose right. I need to get a mirror so I can see where my back looks the best at from the bit, from the rear like this on this pose.
Ah, the hamstring's looking good. Chest is looking good. Arms are still looking small. Shoulders pretty much disappeared. Do the tricep too. Hey buddy, can you please watch out? Thank you, you're, you're, thank you. Okay. Stomach's coming in, the bottom of the stomach's not so big, but again, triceps and shoulders are definitely just non-existent. See the shadowing, chest looks better, arm looks better, shoulders look better, but the thighs and the calves look terrible. They get washed out from this angle from the other. Stomach's looking flatter. And then from this angle, the tricep and the shoulder doesn't look so bad, but the thighs look terrible. It's amazing what lighting does. Just for fun. Can I pull this one off yet? Am I big enough yet, guys? Probably not. Ugh. What about this one? Probably not. Ugh. What's another pose I could think of? What's another classic pose? Oh, yeah. Man, I can't get that light out there. See if I stay like this, arm and shoulder looks better, but then my, so I gotta rotate out to get that lat, but it just doesn't exist. Not for that pose. Not for how hard the angle is, at least from whew, the direction I'm looking at. You know, the... Oh, it would look better if I had abs. It would look a lot better. But all right, that's it for the posing. Um, I think that might be it for the video. Yeah. That's going to be it tonight, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all tomorrow in the morning.